so body scripting sql injection so let's understand what is no what is sql or sql injection sorry sql is a database oh. yes. uh, uh, SQL. SQL. Let me, uh, SQL stands for structured. Yes, sir. SQL is the database which uh, database uh, engine which produced by the yes, Microsoft. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for letting me know that. So it stands for structured query language. Okay. It stands for structured query language. Now, it let you access the man and manipulate database okay it can helps us helps to manipulate Access data from database. Okay, so this is what now what type and what is the task? Task of SQL. So it can delete the data, edit the data. I mean, modify it. It can retrieve the data. It can retrieve the data. It can execute any data. Execute. Insert records. Update records. And create a table. All these, all these are the workings. First, here. Yeah. Okay. So now, second thing. This, this is the SQL. Okay, structured query language. Yes, sir. Now, what is SQL injection? Now. In SQL injection, it is a type of vulnerability where attacker can interfere with the database query and it enables the attacker to view and retrieve restricted information about the database. Okay, so vulnerability that allows okay. Interfere. Okay. Interfere with SQL query and access backend data. From Okay. So now, what is the what are the impacts of a successful SQL injection? So it could lead to an unauthorized access to sensitive data, and data might be credit card details or passport details or any personal user information. So in fact, could lead you, could lead to
unauthorized access to personal information, user information. Personal user information, credit card details, credit card details, passwords, and many things. Okay, we can also we can also and that a bad door. Okay, so this is an SQL injection. I hope my voice is loud and clear. Yes, yes, no, sir. No. Okay. no doubt, sir. Okay, just give me a second. So to detect, to detect and execute SQL queries, we have some operators and clauses to inject. Okay. So there are okay, operators for SQL query. First is arithmetic. First is arithmetic operators. So, in arithmetic operators, we have an addition, which is add, subtract, we have a multiplication. Divide. More divides. Okay. So these are arithmetic operators. Now we have bitwise operators. Now, in bitwise operators, we have And okay. this stands for and no. this sign is or this sign is exclusive exclusive.
Java object wide operators. We have comparison operators. Comparison operators. No. In comparison operators, we have comparison, comparison signs, okay, equal to. Greater than sign. Less than. Then we have comment operators. Okay. Comment operators. Yes, sir, I'm there. I'm there. Okay. So in comment operators, we have signs where we can comment a query. Okay. So hash is used for comment. Okay. Second one is our Dashes. Okay. So dash. Now, now we want to use multiple line comments. Okay. So this is the start comment, and this is the end comment. Multiple comment or multiple line comments. And two hyphen is used for a single comment, and also the hash is for your used for single comments. And multiple line comment is used by slash and apostrophe. I mean, no, not apostrophe, slash and asterisk and asterisk and back or side. Now, most important thing, we have clauses. We have clauses. So, clauses are where select union. These four are the clauses which we can. There are lots of delete and list can go on. But for our knowledge and our course, it's okay to be here. So, clauses are really important to use all these operators. For SQL injection, sir, there are three operators, like uh, how we uh, see in that black hat, uh, black hat operator, uh, uh, that hacker or some white hat hacker or something like that. In uh, SQL query, there are three types of operators. Is it something like that? I'm not getting your question. Can you please be more... Actually, sir, uh, this, I'm talking about these uh, operators. Yes. So... Your, your, no. These are said, like, mm -hmm. we have lots of operators, okay, and these are the categories of operators we have. Okay, so one category, uh, first category is arithmetic operator, where we use the addition sign, subtract, subtraction sign, and multiplication and division sign. Now, then we have bitwise operators, okay, where we can use the end sign, okay. We have this uh, S sign, I mean the end sign, 
and we have a small straight line which is which is for off and i don't know the the sign name so it is for exclusive off so these are not uh, these are the categories of the operators we have. okay we have another category which is comparison operators so equal to greater than less than all these all these signs are comes under comparison operators then we have comment operator okay when we want to comment uh, any query okay when we want to comment the rest of the query then we can use the hash okay we can use double hyphen we can use power slash asterisk mark and for multiple okay for multiple comments For multiple lines. These are the things we can use uh, uh, while we are creating some for querying the SQL. queries. Yes, for querying the SQL errors, we can a database. We can use these operators, but all these operators rely on the clause. The clauses are really important. So we have a where clause, select clause, from, union, and delete. Okay, so we'll come in, come to that. Don't come to you, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Just give me a second. Thank you. So now, let's have a look on this. Now focus on this. Okay, sir. So how SQL query getting this thing works? Attack a. Identifies a vulnerability onto the particular web application. Okay. He sends malicious SQL query, which is not validated by the web application. Let me see. See over here, malicious query is validated. Okay, which is not okay. when web application fails to validate the particular SQL query provided by the attacker or by the hacker. Then SQL I mean the SQL server the database get confused. He doesn't know what to do. And then after getting confused, what the database does? It provide it grants access to all of the data to the hacker. Okay. So it grants all the access and view and do all the key records to attackers. Okay, Mr. Kalim, are you getting my point? So this is the function of SQL injection. So again, first step: hackers identify SQL vulnerability onto particular web application. Then, what using lead operators? Okay, using these operators, attacker sends malicious SQL query. Okay, sends malicious SQL query, and when the So web application over here, I mean the server over here, server over here fails to validate, fails to validate that particular query or the command which is sent by the attacker, by the hacker. Then attacker, I mean the database get confused. Okay, 
it get confused and after getting confused it grants access to all of the data okay so this is how sql injection works and all the sql injection are possible with these operators and these calls so let's take a look how sql works working of SQL. Now, can you see, we have an ID, we have this, it's a table, okay? This over here is our table. Here is our table. And table name is student. Okay. Table name is student. Now we have ID. We have column. Okay. We have five columns over here. One column is ID. Second column is name. Third column is age. Fourth is address. Fifth is salary. And these are the columns. I mean, uh, these are the rows. Okay. Row 1, row 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Are we clear, Tiriam, Chakali? Mr. Kalim, are you there with us? So, in the table, when we try to access some data, okay, let's just say we have we have the site. Side over here where we are Both of you, please have a look over here. So, I am accessing some website, okay, and in, from that website, I am accessing a student, okay, whose ID is 005. So, how this works at the back end? So, in the database, the command goes like this select. Asterisk star, which means it is also a wildcard. Okay. Select everything from table student. Okay. From table student. Where? Where clause? Where? Student ID. Okay. Where? But ID is equal to 005. And release is equal to 1. So, 
when I try to access a student which is this one of okay when I try to access my some student from the table by this typing this okay https in cpowebsite.com slash student question mark id is equal to identity number so at the back end the query goes from select everything okay actually from from clause where student uh, i mean from student table okay this table is a student table so we are, i want to select everything from student table where id okay where the id column is 005 and i want to release is equal to 1 okay so let me break it down start Start is for selecting everything and printing everything. Second thing is from. From. On where do we want? Where do we want to select data? from okay then where now we want to specify the category from which table okay from which select data from from which table from which table do we want to select data from now, what is the category? Okay. From where do we want to get the data, particular data? And the last thing is release. Release is equal to one. So what this means? So what this means? I am unhiding the hidden data by releasing the value to the one. And remember, when the release, when the release is equal to zero, that means that means we want to hide the data. Okay. Just give me a minute. Okay. So this is how this works. So let's just go for different query okay let's go for david sir i have one query yes sir please uh, sir uh, uh, you know uh, you know prior to get the uh, execute this uh, queries we need gain uh, we need gain access of the sql server database right no 
you just need then to how we can execute how can we execute this uh, uh, queries and where settle settle if you just give me yes, yes. You just give me time to explain, explain these vulnerabilities then we can go hop onto the practical and from that you can clear your error okay just let me let us finish the theory part theoretical part okay is it okay Sakali? Hello, are you here? Sakali? Okay. So let's go for ID number two, which is David. So when I access when I want to access student type for ID is zero. So I type the command select select everything from table student where student ID. <laughs> Okay, or let's just go for another category which is student. Okay, let's confirm it. Here. Okay, it's just me. Uh, sorry, sir. Actually, I was disconnected. Uh, my query was uh, actually, uh, you know, that query was like uh, Mr. first Mr. we need I to. I got your query. I got your query. I'm just requesting okay. you that if you just okay. give me some time to explain me the theoretical part, then we can hop onto the practical. And from that, you can, I can answer your question. Okay. It would be really easy for me and for you, for you too. Okay. Not in what is to get the knowledge about it. Okay. So if I want to get another student, uh, so the database, we can type command, select everything from table student, where column name. Okay. So. I want to access the category, which is our column. You can see name is a column over here. So where I want to access a column and column name, column name is name. Okay. Name is equal to two apostrophe, single apostrophe. David. Okay. And Release is equal to one. Release is equal to one. So this is how we can gather information about about the row. Save it. Okay. So it will print me all this information over here. It will match. See first how does this work? This will match the all the name. Okay. Let's just Let's just go for, let's consider this Daniel over here. Consider we have two guys with same name, okay, David and David. Okay, so what we are going to we're gonna now concentrate here. Select everything. From table student, where now. Now we if we do with column name, then we can get error. Okay. But we can do David. I want to get David. And also the ID. I'm also providing the ID number. Which is 
zero zero that means you have the number of filter zero zero six. Okay, zero zero six. Or if you don't want to give the name, or if you don't want to give the ID, we can also give the different column which is country. Okay, and country is uh, country of Afghanistan. And country is equal to. Afghanistan. Okay. And so this is how we can change our query. We can play with our query. Okay. If we have two David, either we can give uh, two parameters or, or I mean two categories. One category is name, one category age, or other salary we can put it. So we don't have country over here. Okay. Address, okay, it's address. Okay. So we don't have country, we can have address. So let, let me change this. To select everything from table student where country name is Afghanistan and I want to release that. I want to unhide that particular data. So this is how the backend data works. Okay, Mr. Kali. Okay. Now, uh, all of you, can you see my screen? Both of you? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can. Okay. Thank you very much. So, over here. Uh, okay. So, now, if you observe the URL over here, we have Web security hyphen academy dot net. Now, when I do corporate gifts, okay, okay, we have a corporate gifts over here. These are the gifts for corporate category. We have another category which are uh, which is food and drink, which is lifestyle. Okay, see over here we have a parameter name category. Okay. We have a different category over here, different parameters over here. So, category food and drink. Category. Uh, sir, parameter in, sir, parameter in the sense these are the page or website pages, right? Yes, these are the pages, but uh, all these pages are static, not dy uh, dynamic. Okay, these are the static pages. Okay. So, okay. And what? So, okay. Let me show you a difference between the static, uh, static and dynamic. When I click this corporate, it is not redirecting me to another website or to another subdomain. Okay, it is just showing me a page within a page. Okay, so that is known as static. So that we have a category over here. We have a parameter. All these, all these are the categories. Okay, different categories. One is all corporate gift food. That's yes. and time. So let's try to query with it. Let's do category one. So 
see or look over here when I do go for all. Can you see we have all the names over here? All the category name. Okay. Whatever products are there are present in this particular lab, we have the name of them. And when I go for corporate gifts, I have three three gifts over here. I mean I have three items in this particular category, corporate gifts. Okay. And these are the names for those gifts. Okay. But when I change this category and I give one or anything, okay, SSD, and this is validating. Okay, this is taking my input. Okay, it is allowing me to input my data. Okay, Mr. Gill, the category parameter is allowing me to input the data. See, it is not throwing any error. It is not giving me any error over here. Whatever I typed over here is simply printed on this page. It's not giving me any error. So, how malicious payload works? Okay. How we can do Malicious payload. So first is a simple apostrophe. So okay. Now how apostrophe works? Just a second. Okay. So how a single apostrophe works? Over here. When I give this name and a single apostrophe behind it, so I hope you can see my screen, right? So when I provide a single apostrophe behind a particular query, look what happened. Internal server error. Internal server error. So when you get any SQL type error. That means we this particular website is SQL infected. So let's take a look how it works at the back end. So my payload was go for one. It was category category equal to some name. Okay, let's take one. Okay, this was the parameter, and I added. Apostrophe. Okay, I uh, added apostrophe against it. So, what backend data works? How backend data works? Select. Everything from let me paste the URL over here. So this is my URL. Yeah. Okay. Web Security Academy dot net filter.
so how this works select everything from from this table okay now uh, from table where now actually over here let me tell you guys that we don't know the table over here okay we don't know the table name but i'm just trying to explain you how the backend data looks like okay so so this is not the actual table name and this is not the actual table okay we don't know the table but how the backend data works is select everything from table name where category okay we can see category over here okay where category is equal to 1 but it takes it like this one. okay all this it takes category but i added a single apostrophe behind one okay so this looks like sir, this. Uh, sir sorry sir sorry interrupt you can you please uh, uh, explain this uh, again about that sql injection which uh, you performed just now okay okay let me finish it i'll get it back to you so uh, can you yes sir i'm there i'm there Yes. So this is the part where you... so you didn't uh, you didn't get this part right? Okay. So yes, please. Sir. We have okay. Please concentrate over here now. Okay. We have a shop page over here, and we have all yeah. these categories. Okay, that that part, part I understand, but. Uh, okay, let, let me see. Let me see, please. When I do, yes. when I provide, okay, instead of food and drink into the category parameter, still looks what happens. It takes my input, okay. It is not throwing me any error, okay. It just takes my input. So, what I did over here. I added a single apostrophe. So single apostrophe is marked as malicious. Okay, it is marked as malicious by most of the website, by every website. Okay, if they are, if they are not vulnerable, if they are vulnerable, then they uh, they they can accept your query. They can accept the input. Yes, yes, I understand. So when I add when I add a post single apostrophe over here. Internal server error. Internal server error. So how because this the works? Not how not the back end is when I add the malicious payload as a single apostrophe. Here we are. HTTP. This is my site. Filter. Category is equal to one and apostrophe. So and back end it gets select everything from now. We don't know the table. Okay, this is just to explain you. I have written the table. We don't need a table name from that particular table where our category can you see the category over here where category is equal to one and a single apostrophe. So now, yes, sir, now carefully, carefully, where category is equal to okay, is equal to apostrophe one apostrophe. Now this is this over here is going to validate. Now, what happens when I type a single apostrophe behind the query, okay, behind the data, what happens? This quotation, okay, single quote, and this quotation gets closed. And this single quotation is left behind. So whatever comes after this, Okay, and what comes after this is and release is equal to one. What comes after this, it 
is going to throw an error because i have to open a single quote over here okay this single quote is left open right mr kalim so this single quote gets open because i have provided a single quote over here with my query one an apostrophe so this apostrophe and this apostrophe gets closed so it takes my input as one but this apostrophe gets open so everything that comes behind this okay that comes behind this apostrophe gets an error so that's why we got this particular internal server error right got it sir yes so what we will do now we are going to pull pull the database as select everything from table okay from that particular table where category is equal to okay is equal to one apostrophe then we are going to use our operators see over here we have operators and we are going to be using comment operator okay either hash either two hyphens or use multiple comment okay so we do this okay and it will go and release is equal to 1 so what happens here is when we try to add comment okay two hyphens means comment so when i try to add comments or after the whatever comes after this two hyphen gets commented so it will be get ignored okay after this two comment it will all the so single apostrophe and this and and release is equal to one all this is going to be ignored okay when i type when i type this all this will be get ignored okay everything of our everything that comes behind behind this comment section will be get ignored okay. i got it wrong let me correct it okay now everything that comes behind this comment will be get ignored so this single apostrophe and and release is equal to one will get ignored so we won't get any error so we can use either double hyphen or we can use hash i've given you the operators we are just here to play with this operator so let's go let's go now i have provided one i mean one and apostrophe let's go for hash first okay hash same error okay same internal server error right when i try to do this comment okay now it has taken the comment and it has ignored whatever that comes after this comment section okay after comment section it has ignored all this part okay it has ignored all this particular part so this means it is vulnerable to a sql and again we are assured okay now we are rest assured that when i try to add comment okay when i try to add malicious payload and after that i try to add comment 
then it means it is ignoring my part okay so let's do i have to say what i will do now what i will do i will try to add this like now i will add one now we have different operators okay we have so many operators okay bit wise comparison comment arithmetic and uh, okay let i forgot to mention logical operators logical operators we have logical operators those are and or not between all these are logical operators okay so what i'll try to do over here i'll try to query that i want to select everything from this particular table where category is equal to 1 or 1 equal to 1 okay so what will do this was our query what will try to do you do if you give me this category i mean where the category name is one and we all know that no one no category has any name as one we can see over here we have these categories all corporate gift food drink lifestyle tech gift okay but we don't have any category name one correct so that's why we are going for logical operators so if this fails okay if this query fails then give me another query and we all know one is, one is equal to one so if any one of this gets true then it will then it will give give us the output so let's try what i'm going to do or one equal to one okay either you give me provide me with category where category name is one or fulfill this command okay okay fulfill this command by ignoring all the rest part when i do r cium congratulations you have solved the lab and you can see all these categories all these pictures we didn't have the ag agro ag picture we didn't have the gadget we didn't have this battle ground trying to get double pack over here and photo dome photo bomb over here we didn't have that we had team we had this guy we had the rotten banana over here but we didn't had this for uh, these pictures over here so what the server has done okay by getting when i provide this when i provide this malicious payload it has what it has done select everything from table where category is one or you can give me where my command is one is equal to one i want to comment all this thing which comes after that and what comes after and 
release is equal to one. Now that release was zero. Okay, okay. That actually release was zero. But what we did, we commented this particular section. Okay, we commented out. Okay, we commented out this particular section, and we got all the command. Okay, all the pictures and all the categories over here. All the pictures over. Here. So that's what. We had over here. When attacker tries to input something malicious, and attacker tries to input something malicious as this. Okay. Or one equal to one, and comment all the section behind it. So, and the web application is not validating that particular. Command okay, it's not validating that particular command. Database get confused okay, and it provides us with all the records okay, with all the records, and attacker can either access to it and it can what alter it okay, Mr. Kalim. Okay, so that release was zero, and I, as I told you over here, when where is it? Oh, yeah. When release is equal to one, it means we want to unhide the hidden data, and when release is equal to zero, it means hide the data. So what we did over here, it was release is equal to zero. What we did. We added the comment operator over here. We added the comment operator over here. So what it did, it commented. Okay, it pushed out the and release is equal to zero. So this part, okay, this part didn't get executed. Okay, this part didn't get executed. Only this particular part got executed. And in that also, we know that we don't have any category named one. So what it did, it get like select everything from this particular table where category name is equal to one, and the database know that it doesn't have any one. So it doesn't have any one. So it moved on to another command. Okay, it moved on to another command where I am. Using a logical operator, which is or, okay, which is or, and I am giving command which is one equal to one, and the database knows that one is equal to one is true. Okay, one is equal to one is true. So what it does, it commented out all this section, and my query got my query got successful, and We are done with this particular lab. Now, this is just to identify. Okay, how can we? Let's just get sort of it. So this this uh, was to query the unhidden data, okay? I mean the hidden data, not the unhidden. Excuse me. To retrieve the hidden data. Now, how can we? Now how can we execute and attack the database? Mr. Kim, I hope you are getting my point. No. We have another website over here. Hello. I hope all of you are 
able to hear my hear my voice hello yes sir we can yeah. No. Can you see testphp dot one web dot com slash artist dot php? No, these all these are all the artists. Okay. One is this. One is Blake. And one is IZ. We can either come in on that particular section, and we can we can read about them. Okay. We can read about them. There's a they have presented a small summary about the artist. So can you see we have artist is equal to two. Okay. Let us try to change the number. Now, when I try to change the number, it got me to artist this R four, okay, artist R four, and when I try to write artist three, it has changed the artist for me. So what this is doing? This is trying to this is accepting the user user input okay which is it shouldn't be done okay if your server should not accept the user input okay by the url so whatever it, i'm trying to provide over here it is capturing it and it is not validating so if i try to do a malicious payload over here this is my malicious payload my SQL fetch array expects parameter one to be resources. Who win? You win. Yes. Now, hj bar www artist of php. What is it giving me? It is it is providing me the internal file path. Internal file path to the artist of php. Okay. So if we try to if we get any error related to this, then it means this is SQL infected. Now, not only this, either when I try to do try to change that by just simply clicking one. Okay, we are getting we are getting four. Okay, we are getting our username, I mean the other thing changed by just adding simple numbers. Let's try to add four. Four is not there. Okay. Four is not there. It is blank. Let's try to add five. Five is even there. Not there. So blank. Again, go to two. Okay. Go to one. When I add apostrophe, what do? It is giving me the internal file path. So this means it is vulnerable to SQL. What? Remove this apostrophe and copy this. Okay. After copying it, go to the terminal. Go to the terminal. There is a tool named SQL Map. SQL Map. Hyphen U. For URL, take the URL and dash dash DBS. I can have DBS database. There are other database for that. Enter. Now, see, it has provided me the parameter artist, which means parameter artist is vulnerable. Okay. Type Boolean based and it is a blind SQL. Boolean based blind. Title where or having clause. Okay, we can either use where clause or having clause. And this is our payload. This is our payload. It has provided us with the payload. Time based blind 
okay time based blind sql qof artist one okay and skip for five seconds okay and most important thing available databases two which is export and information schema so let's go for another thing now we know that we have two database so what i'll do hyphen capital d and i will capital capital d for database and i want to go for a particular database which is export okay Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, my bad. My bad. So, okay. SQL map hyphen U. I provided the URL. Hyphen D capital D. Now, hyphen capital D. I have given the database name, and I want dash uh, dash dash tables. I want to get tables for that. Now, can you see the tables over here? We have a database, acute. Okay, in that acute table, I mean database, we have eight tables. So le let's go deep. Now we have discovered tables, capital T for table, for a particular table. Okay, let's go for table name, users, and I want to gather. columns in that particular table okay so now database acquired table name users and we have eight columns we have address card email name pass phone so let's go even deeper i use dash dash columns now i'm going to use capital c For a particular column, which is pass dash dash dump. Okay, so I have a database. I showed I have a table user, and that user we have a column name. Okay, and in that column, uh, I mean column name, we have a pass. Okay, we have a column name pass, and we have Two password for that. One is pass, one is test. So let's check it. Let's cross verify. Sign up. Can you see test and one pa one password was one is pass and one is test. So let's go for pass first. No login. Test. And test. Okay, logged out. Can you see? Let's get the different information. Let's go for. Use them. Do we have a use them? No, we don't have any use them. Have use. We have no.
okay for it. okay for the echo echo this is our username email let's go for email let's go for email I hope you guys are here with me. All the view of you. Hello. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Thank you. So here we got the email. Let's cross verify. Can you see the mail email? And we had in the name. Okay. For the okay. that's not go for the another name. Okay. And uh, address. Let's go for the address. We have Turkey over here. Is our address just cross verified? Okay. It's I don't read that name, it is uh, a topic name, and you can see the token name. Now we got the email, we got the name, we got the password, we got the user. By just running into a tool. So this is how we can execute and we can gather information about the tables. Okay. Let me take the screenshot of it. So again, first, First, we just provided with the just DBS. We just wanted the database. Okay. Now, then we got the database. Okay. We had two databases over here, two databases over here, and then what we did, we changed our query. Okay, SQL map hyphen view. Now hyphen capital D, and that we are going for that particular. Database. And in that particular database, we are going for tables. Okay. And we got the tables. Then we hyphen D, hyphen capital D, table uh, database name, and capital T for that particular table name, and we are gathering columns, that's just columns. We got the columns over here, address, card, email, name, pass, phone, your name. Okay. Now we are going even deeper. Hyphen capital D, capital T for table, particular table, and that particular table we are going for particular column for with hyphen capital C and we are trying to dump it. Dash dash dump. So you can see we got the passwords. Okay. We got the username. Okay. We got the username. We got the name. And also the email. Email over here. Now, this tool is really a nice one. It is also providing us with the payload. Uh, so let's. 
try to do it. Now what this payload is doing over here? One, okay, artist one, okay, and we all know that we have artist one, right? And I go to the see all these are the categories over here. And I go to the artist category. And I go to this one. See over here, artist is one. So let's try to do. Okay, artist is equal to one and sleep for five seconds. Now observe it. What is trying to do? Uh, the output got slept for five seconds. Okay. And our output will sleep for five seconds. You over here. Okay. That is giving me the priority. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. Okay. So this is this is the result. Now, this is how we can execute our command. Okay, I mean, gather information about the target, about the database. Okay, uh, Mr. Kalim. Now, are you clear with the concept? How we can hack into a database? How we can gather information about the database? You can try this with uh, actual website, okay? And in that actual website also, you can uh, find these type of tables and databases. Okay. Let me paste it. Now, guys, please let me know that if you have any doubt. Hello. Yes, no, it's no, it's So we are done with the...